This is the short version of practice problem number one from lesson six, describing transformations and unit one, rigid transformations and congruence. In problem number one, you are to take trapezoid A and reflect it three times. The first time over the y-axis, the second time over the x-axis, and the third time back over the x-axis in the opposite direction. So A says draw polygon B, the image of A, using the y-axis as the line of reflection. Now, there's two words to keep track of here. One is figure. So this shape right here is called a figure. It is figure A. And then when, when you reflect it, it becomes an image of figure A, and that is called image B or polygon B. So B is an image of figure A. Remember that a reflection means that you're going to move every point of figure A perpendicular to the line of reflection. So it forms a 90 degree angle and an equal distance on the other side of the line of reflection to get image B. So every point moves perpendicular to the line of reflection, which is Y, and an equal distance on the other side of the line of reflection to get to each of the points for image B. So 90 degrees perpendicular. So each of these are moving perpendicular or at a 90 degree angle to the line of reflection, which is the Y axis. And then to get to C, now you're gonna take figure B, so now it becomes a figure, and C is an image, a reflected image of figure B. So to get from B to C, you're going to move every point 90 degrees to the line of reflection, so perpendicular to the line of reflection, which is now the x-axis, and an equal distance on the other side of the line of reflection to get to C. So here's a 90-degree angle, so that's perpendicular. A 90-degree angle is a line that's drawn perpendicular to another line. So this is perpendicular to the x-axis, so it forms a 90 degree angle. And to get to image D, so now it's figure C, and D is an image of figure C. So I'm going to reflect C back in the other direction to get to image D. And again, it's a 90 degree angle perpendicular to the line of reflection, which is the x-axis, and an equal distance on the other side of the line of reflection. So C returns to B, which is now called an image D.